My dear P5 learners, welcome back to yet another lesson which is brought to you by Kampala Quality Primary School. My name is Mr. Mugisha Emmanuel, who has come back to take you through mathematics. But before I take you through today's lesson, I want to make a few corrections in the activity which I gave you. And I have chosen D, B, and the other one. These numbers were in your exercise, and I hope you are not going to change your answers. You are going to compare and do corrections where you need to do corrections. So this one was demanding you to find the decimal number for this. And 7 out of 2 means 7 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2. So what do we put inside? 7, then outside, 2. 7 divided by 2. Can I get a group of 2 from 7? Yes. How many groups can I get? 3. 3 times 2, we get 6. When we subtract, we get 1. 1 divided by 2. 1 is smaller. So what do we do? We introduce a decimal point. Then we add here a zero, and it becomes 10. 10 divided by 2, we are going to get 5. 5 times 2, we get 10. So we are going to end up with that one. Therefore, 7 halves is the same as 3.5. I hope you got this one right. Then B, it is a quarter. And a quarter means 1 divided by 4. So our longer division, 1 inside, 4 outside. 1 divided by 4, 1 is smaller, so we put a 0. 0 times 4, we get a 0. When we subtract, we get 1, which was here. So we introduce a decimal point. We add here 0. 4 goes into 10 how many times? That is 2. And 2 times 4, we are getting 8. When you subtract, you get 2. 2 divided by 4, 2 remains smaller, so we add a 0. 20 divided by 4, you get a 5. 5 times 4, you get a 20. And when you subtract, you get 0, 0. Then finally, we had this one. 9 out of 10 means 9 divided by 10, longer division. We are going to have 9 here, then 10. 10 goes into 9 how many times? 0 times. 0 times 10, we get 0. When we subtract, we get 9. Then 9 divided by 10, it has already given us 0, so we introduce a decimal point, we add. 10 goes into 90 how many times? 9. 9 times 10, we get 90. And when we subtract, we get 0, 0. Basically, this is what we looked at in a previous lesson. I hope you are able to compare the answers and see where you went wrong, you correct yourself. But what I know, I know you passed these numbers very well. So in our lesson today, we are going to look at equivalent fractions. We are going to look at equivalent fractions. So what are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are fractions which are equal in value. Are fractions which are equal in value. For example, we may have a half. And a half is equal to 2 out of 4 in value. A half is equal to 2 out of 4 in value. So, 2 becomes an equivalent fraction for a half. How? If you want to prove, reduce this fraction, 2 out of 4, you reduce it by 2, you reduce it by 2. 2 divided by 2, you will get 1. 4 divided by 2, you will get a half. So this one becomes an equivalent fraction for 
a half. So how do we find equivalent fractions? That's what we are going to learn. Somebody may tell you to find the next four equivalent fractions for, for example, a half. Find the next four equivalent fractions for a half. So how do we get these equivalent fractions? You get a half, which is the fraction that has been given to you. Then you multiply it by counting numbers. Counting numbers. Which counting numbers do we have? We have one, two, three, four, and so forth. So, if I begin with one, one will not change this fraction. So we begin with two. So, a half is going to give me a half times two times two. And what is this one going to give me? One times two, you get two. Out of 2 times 2, you get 4. So 2 out of 4 is an equivalent fraction here. If I want to get another one, if I want to get the next equivalent fraction, then I'm going to get a half times. From 2, you go to the next counting number, which is 3. So times 3 times 3. And this one is going to give you 1 times 3, 3. 2 times 3, that is 6, so we get a 6. If you want to get the next equivalent fraction, you get again a half, you multiply by. From 3, now we go to 4, times 4. 1 times 4, we get 4. Out of 2 times 4, you get 8. How many do we need? We need 4. 1, 2, 3, so far I have got 3. So if I want to get another equivalent fraction, then I'm going to get again a half times. From 5, I mean from 4, you got 5. Times 5, times 5. 1 times 5, you get 5. Out of 2 times 5, we are getting 10. How many so far have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4. The next four equivalent fraction, the next four equivalent fraction for a half are two out of four, comma, three out of six, comma, four out of eight, comma, then five out of 5 out of 10. And these are the equivalent fractions which are needed. Now, why do we teach you equivalent fractions? We teach you equivalent fractions because you can use equivalent fractions to add fractions. So when it comes to addition, or fraction, then I can use equivalent fractions. Let's look at another example. Another example, find the missing, the missing number in Somebody may give you a half, let me write a quarter, is equal to a box out of eight. Find the missing number in that. A quarter is equal to a box out of eight. 
So, just like we have done equivalent fractions here, you can also find the equivalent fractions of a quarter. Then you pick that one that has a numerator of a denominator of 8. So, using this knowledge, we are going to say a quarter times 2 times 2, which will give you 2 out of 8. Oh, I have got it. Just one step, I have got it. So, it means I'm interested in this one. You come and put it there. And the number there is found. Let's have another example. Fill in. Fill in. The missing. Number. In. Three out of five. Is equal to. This time, it is going to be 9 out of a box. Okay? 3 out of 5 is equal to 9 out of a box. So what do we do in this case? You can use equivalent fractions just the way we have done it. But we have also a short method which we can use to get the answer directly. How? Compare the numerator and the numerator, denominator, denominator. Numerator, numerator, I have order 2. Denominator, I have a box, so I can't use this 5. So I'm going to compare the numerator and the numerator. So you get this numerator, you divide it by the smaller numerator, which is going to give you 3. So it means the common number which I'm going to use is 3. So get the fraction, 3 out of 5. Then you multiply by the 3 which you have got. Even here times 3. So this one, 3 times 3, you get 9. 5 times 3, we get 15. And we are interested in this one. 9 is already here, we are interested in 15. The instruction, fill in. So the missing number there is? 15. The missing number there is 15. Let's have the last example. Let's have the last example. Whereby, whereby you are feeding in the missing number. The missing number in we are filling in the missing number in and what do we have this time? We have eighteen out of 19 is equal to, is equal to, is equal to 36 out of a box. Is equal to that one out of a box. So in this case, we are going to have 18 Compared to 36. Numerator, numerator. We can't compare denominators because we don't have this one. So we shall have 36. You divide it by 18. And what do we get? We get a 2. So we are getting 18 out of 19. You multiply by 2. You multiply by 2. 18 times 2, we are getting 36. Out of 19 times 2, what do we get? 
you don't know how to get the answer, arrange vertically and calculate. 19 times 2. What do we get here? 18, you carry 1. Here is 2, then 3. So it means we are getting 38. But remember, 36 is already given, so I'm interested in 38. So the answer is going to be 38 there. You can also be given denominator, denominator. What is important is you to know what you are going to compare to find the missing number in the equivalent fractions. But don't forget that every answer must be underlined. Having taken you through these examples, I hope you can try some numbers. I hope you can try some numbers. But in addition to the numbers which I'm going to give you, please, always get a textbook. If a teacher has handled you through a certain topic, get a textbook open, read. When you read, you will discover more. And when you practice in mathematics, you will, of course, be perfect. Thank you so much for being a good runner. I'm going to give you an activity. Please enjoy it. Have a nice time.